next step is known as separation, where natural gases will be extracted from the crude oil. During this separation process, gas bubbles out of the solution and leaves the separator through a gas outlet. The separated natural gases will then pass through a booster station where it will be compressed, dehydrated, and transmitted under high pressure to liquefied petroleum gas plant where byproducts are extracted. The leftover gas, known as lean gas, will be used for powering the refineries, power stations, and other domestic or industrial uses. Each byproduct of the crude oil process has been used in another part of the operation, making the energy requirements completely self-contained. Most of the oil which has passed through the oil gas separators is directed immediately to the storage tanks. The oil, which contains high levels of salts and water, is sent to the desalters for treatment. The entire operation of the gathering center is monitored from the GC central control room using a sophisticated computer system which allows any of the units to be monitored remotely. The crude oil recovered from the various underground reservoirs can have different properties depending on where it was found. All the produced oil must therefore be pumped from the gathering centers to a facility known as the mixing manifold to create the proper blending of crude oils necessary to obtain the end product, Kuwait Export Crude. The oil is then pumped to either the north or south tank farms with a storage reserve capacity of 16.3 million barrels. Each tank is connected to a filling and loading line with valves which are remotely controlled from a central control room in Ahmadi. The tank farms have been located and built in such a way that no further pumping is necessary. When the order comes to fill a waiting oil tanker, simply opening the valve allows the oil to flow under the force of gravity to either the north pier, south pier, or the single point mooring, commonly called the SPM. The exporting pipelines buried in deep water are always maintained in operable work condition along with the SPM itself. Tugs transport the sea captains to and from their ships. Anti-pollution and firefighting crews are constantly ready to prevent ecological disasters. The tugboats help the tankers berth for loading. Once moored for loading, the tanker will be tethered to the SPM. The raising and falling of the tide may cause the tanker to drift towards the SPM, so a tugboat gently pulls the ship in the opposite direction for the entire duration of the loading stage, causing the tanker to drift around the SPM. The tanker takes on three tubes from the SPM, two of which load the crude and the third loads fuel. As the invasion and the subsequent ecological disasters proved, accidents, whether deliberate or otherwise, could be devastating to the country, Kuwait Oil Company therefore places the highest priority on the prevention of such events. The loss prevention personnel face this immense task. Fire and safety procedures ensure that all possible preventive measures are taken. Facilities not only include fire and safety equipment at each of the well sites and gathering centers, but also a completely equipped and fully staffed fire station in Burgan area. All company equipment is regularly inspected, paying particular attention to the presence of corrosion. Strict rules and regulations are enforced regarding the conservation of petroleum resources and protection of the environment against oil and gas pollution. Kuwait Oil Company also maintains the ability to employ methods of recovering and reusing any accidental oil spills. This helps battle pollution and conserve the environment. As one might expect in today's highly electronic world, the computer plays a crucial role in all of Kuwait Oil Company's operations, whether in matters of personnel administration or the simulation of oil reservoirs state-of-the-art computer equipment is used for maximum performance. The successful operation of Kuwait Oil Company depends on its people, 
highly educated and well trained. Training and development are at the top of the company's priority list for the very reason that its future depends on the increased knowledge of all personnel. The oil production industry is a complex and fast changing business, so competition demands timely and swift reaction to change, skills which only people can possess. People who can set goals and meet them. People who can make the black liquid in the ground turn to gold. Whatever the future holds for Kuwait, the oil industry will always be a central component. Kuwait Oil Company will lead the mission of bringing Kuwait's vision of the future into reality.